when people speak of the old Atlanta, they'll talk about the city of Atlanta. Mm. When people speak of Atlanta now, they talk about Metro Atlanta. Mm. That's where the confusion come in. At. You know what I'm saying? I was born on the east side of Atlanta, and I was raised on the west side of Atlanta. Mm. So I got the chance to experience both sides and really understand it. And then I was raised in probably, well, I can't say probably, the, it is the hardest projects in East Atlanta was East Lake Meadows. You know what I'm saying? I got a chance to grow up over there. You know what I'm saying? Leaving from there, I ended up moving to Born Home on the west side. And Born Home is probably the worst projects on the west side. You see what I'm saying? Respectfully. You know what I'm saying? So I got a chance to be around. You know, when I was when I was like nine years old, bro, I used to catch the bus from the end of the west side to the east side. I used to go downtown. I'm like nine years old, 10 years old. So mm -hmm. I got a chance to experience the city. You know what I'm saying? I know people from everywhere, so it ain't too many places I ain't been or too many shit I ain't seen. And I was outside. What's the... What's, I'm just curious, what's the biggest difference? Because we hear, we hear this term get thrown around so much, old mm -hmm. Atlanta, new Atlanta, and, and for the most part, again, as a tourist, I don't know no, no better. What I've come to learn was really the Olympics, mm -hmm. when you're talking about old Atlanta, new Atlanta, but being somebody from Atlanta, what's the biggest difference for, for you outside of the Olympics? Uh, or no, was that really yeah, that it? You don't got no projects no more. <clears throat> uh, you really don't got no projects no more. All the projects really gone. All the projects they have rebuilt ain't projects no more. So that's one because in the projects you got a sense of you got everything that you needed in in one circle. Uh, morals, what they call the G code principles, mm -hmm. everything was different. It was real. When no fabricated. When nobody doing this. Like back then, if somebody was rapping about selling dope on their music, they were selling dope for real. Right. If they was talking about pimping on their music. It was pimping for real. Wasn't well, nobody fabricating their music. When we didn't get fabrication. But growing up in the project, you got a chance to experience whatever you wanted to growing up. So I spent like this. In my projects in Born Home, we had a grocery store, two gas stations, a car uh a clothing washing, uh clothes washing thing with a restaurant. Barbershop, music store, mechanic shop, elementary school, medical center, uh, a center with, with a stage, like if you want to have a, a show or something like that in it, mm -hmm. uh, football field, a recre park recreation, all in my projects. Mm -hmm. You hear what I said? Everything I just said in my projects. You had it in the projects. In my projects. Oh, that's different. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. I didn't have we didn't have to leave my projects for nothing. Wait, is it in the projects or in that neighborhood? Because we projects. had all of that, but it wasn't in, like in the projects. In the projects. All right, so listen. I, that's what I'm saying. How like I explain. It's just to this day, right down Bankhead. All right, Born Home is like so. If you if you coming from 285, you pass the flame. My project is gonna be on the left. Mm -hmm. But if you coming from down from 28 down Bankhead, it's gonna be on the right. So if you coming down, I just explain coming down from the right. So as you pull up. It's a red light right here, and it's my projects. To the left is a mechanic shop, a record store, a hair salon, barbershop. Mm -hmm. On the side of the street from there is a gas station. Across the street from that, where my project is at, it's another gas station. Across from that is a grocery store. On the side of that, on the side of that gas station, it's a mom and pop um, um, cooking cooking shop. Then it's the it's the um, clothing um, laundromat and it's a restaurant. So when you pull in my projects, the the library right here to the right. You make it right, you go all the way down. You go to elementary school to the right. You got the medic center to the left. You got the um, the uh, event center to the left. Then right behind the school, that's the that's the uh, A.D. Williams. It's A.D. That's the name of my elementary school, A.D. Williams. You got A.D. Williams, the park, which is a pile now. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Where they do the boxing and all that. All this is in my projects. You know, I guess I'm what, what confused me because, like, I'm from the projects, too, in Baltimore. Mm -hmm. But, like, we never, like, I would never say, like, the grocery store was in the project, but now that I'm thinking about it, like, the grocery store is right next to the projects. Like, mm -hmm. the projects is right here, and, like, I mean, it damn near inside the, damn near, yeah. Mm -hmm. My elementary school, I went to uh, Fremont L. Templeton, it's literally, like, like, literally right there. Like, the projects right here is right across the street, and the, um, we had a pal, too. I thought they, st they, they, they stopped that. They stopped funding that. No, they still do pal. They still do the pal? I thought they, they ain't do that no they more. They still do pal down here, too. 
Yo, they got one of Anderson Park. Um, Anderson Park, got, they got that powder, Anderson Park. They must have stopped it up north. It ain't as big as it used to be, but they, they still got it, though. It's crazy because the Pow Center, as much as it saved a lot of kids' lives, it got a lot of n****s ass whooped. But you know what? We didn't have... Like, we like didn't have, got the ass whooped at the Pow Center. But we didn't have Pow growing up. Pow was something that Yeah, Pow something that came later. We always had recreation parks, and we all everybody always go play the recreation. But like yeah. I told you, our recreation park was... <laughs> in our project, yeah, yeah, like nobody drove to practice. Yeah, that's how. Yeah, that's how. Ain't no drive to practice. Ain't no walk yeah. to practice. Yeah, you know, we walk to school. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. ain't no, ain't, ain't no buses. Yeah, like we don't got no buses. Mm. Ain't no. If you rode buses to my, if you rode buses in my project, that means you stayed in the houses across the street from our project called King Grant. And you was a suburb, mm. and we picked on y'all. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? So, so, and then, so, like I said, but when you was raising up. You got a chance to see the car thieves. Mm. You got a chance to see the, the the burglars. You got a chance to see the robbers. You got a chance to see the hustlers. You got a chance to see the king pants and the pen hustle. You got a chance to see the, the nine to five workers. You got a chance to see the entrepreneurs, the people who got real estate and own their own business. You got a chance to see this in the hood. So as you as you start to coming up in the hood and you start to choose what you wanted to do and what 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 crew, you know what I'm saying, start picking your interests, when you got a chance to do that, you start learning the best ways to do that. Mm. Because the people who are doing it is doing it at a high level. They're gonna teach you on a high level. You see what I'm saying? Even if you said, Oh, I don't wanna do this no more, I wanna do this right here. You know what I'm saying? You still got with somebody who taught you that. You see what I'm saying? So you learn these morals, you learn how to do stuff, what not to do, as you start coming up and you got a chance to see it and experience it. You know what I'm saying? With help. <clears throat> they don't have that now. I ain't gonna lie, bro. That just must be in Atlanta DNA. Cause that's some Atlanta. Mm -hmm. They weren't teaching us. <laughs> like, nigga be selfish up north, right? Gonna... It all depends on... And, Only way I, you I can't... learn to get your ass whooped. You might see, get shot or locked up. I can't speak for everybody because there's some people that don't go through that. But that's... Okay, let me just say it like this. Okay, I'll just say hustling. Mm -hmm. All right. Everybody hustle in my projects. So mm -hmm. ain't no ain't no way to... Ain't nowhere to say I'm finna go just hustle right here. Right. Because somebody is trapping right there. You see what I'm saying? So... When you buy something for somebody, you gotta have somewhere to sell it at. So nine times out of ten, the person that you buy it from is the person that's gonna give you the game. Mm. You see what I'm saying? And you know you're gonna pick up from what's going on around you, but that's the person who's gonna give you the game. And then to you, oh, I ain't messing with you no more for whatever reason it is, and I start shopping with him. Now I'm gonna start being around him. Mm. He gonna start giving me the game. So now after I went through this four, five, four, five years in a row, I done been about four, five OG in the hood. I got all the game. Mm. Now I know how to do this, 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 and this. These young don't have that. They don't get a chance to have that. Mm. They looking at Instagram. They looking at social media. They going by where they hearing the music. That's how they interpret it, what's real and what's not. They don't get a chance to get shown this. Mm. And then the people, the examples they got, but I don't stand no morals. Look at all this shit that's going on right now. Mm. It should have never gone back in my days. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? When I was coming up, you know, when I was coming up, people started saying snitches get stitches. You see mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And the people that I used to be around, we didn't understand that. Yeah. Because we used to always hear, all rats must die. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So I done been around and started seeing it shift and the change and all this has been changed from the old to the <clears throat> fun Atlanta to the new Atlanta. 